Blue Jays fans! The Toronto Blue Jays beat the Boston Red Sox in a series 3-1, and they now are three games back of the Boston Red Sox and the Oakland A's, who ended up winning all their games against the Texas Rangers. What is up, guys? My name is Lucas Garcella. The Blue Jays beat the Boston Red Sox 9-8 in the last game of the series. And let's just get straight into it because it's a lot to cover. Corey Dickerson, singles to right. Springer scores on the play. Teoscar Hernandez will move up to third of the play. And it's one nothing for the Jays in the bottom of the first. Top of the second, the Boston Red Sox get moving. Alex Martinez, double to left. Rafael Devers scores on the play. And the Red Sox make it one. Ploiecki singles to left. Martinez will then score. And it's 2-0 for the Boston Red Sox. TK Hernandez singles to right. Ploiecki scores. Then Dalek moves to third. And it's 3-1 to one for the Boston Red Sox. Top of the third. Ploiecki doubling again to left. He scores. Bogarts moves to Rafael Devers at the third. It is 4-1. to one. Can you review having a tough day at the mouth? Bottom of the third. Teoscar Hernandez singles to left. George Springer scores on the play. Guerrero moves to second. It's a two-run gap between the two ball clubs. J.D. Martinez then singles to left. Kika Hernandez scores. Bogart scores. That's two runs on the single from Martinez. And it's six runs for the Boston Red Sox. Powecki singles to left afterwards. Deber scores on the play. Makes it seven. Bottom of the fifth. Guerrero Jr. Homers to... Left on a 2 0 oh, 2 count, my apologies. Reese McGuire scores on the play, a two run shot for Guerrero Jr. And they close the gap just a tad bit. Top of the six, Danny Delba. Singles to center. Alex Martinez will score on the play. Sorry, JD Martinez, not Alex Martinez, my apologies. JD Martinez and the Boston Red Sox have eight runs on the night. It's an 8 4 lead. For the Boston Red Sox. Bottom of the seventh rolls around. Marcus Simeon hits a sack flex. In the center field, Kike Hernandez will catch the ball, but Springer scores from third. They make it eight to five. Tay Oscar Hernandez singles to center. Guerrero Jr. scores on the plate. It's a two run ball game going into the bottom of the eight, where our main man, George Springer. Homer to left on a two and two count. Valera scores, Reese McGuire scores, Springer scores. A three run shot for George Springer to basically walk off the Blue Jays and they win this one nine to eight in dramatic fashion. Starting to feel like the 2015 Blue Jays that we used to once love. Josh Donaldson, Jose Batista, and Edwin Encarnacion. All those guys used to hit the ball insane in the end of the game. And we're finally getting that with George Springer. We're getting that with that Guerrero Jr. We're getting that with the Oscar Simeon. We are finally found a potential playoff team for the Toronto Blue Jays. It's looking really good right now. So Rafael Dolis will actually get his second win of the season with an inning and a half pitch on the game. Two strikeouts and half Bart. The third time he's ended up on the score sheet for a loss or a win. This game he gets a loss, he gets his fourth loss of the season, only pitching half an inning. Two earned runs, one base on ball, one strikeout, and Jordan Romano with his 10th save of the season in a Blue Jays uniform. So Jays fans, the Jays will get a little bit of a break, a little bit of a break, a tiny little break. They will have a break until Tuesday, August 10th, where they will play the Los Angeles Angels and the Toronto Blue Jays will be facing the first. Steven Matz on the mound for that one against Chris Rodriguez. 96 Steven Matz with a 4.30 ERA. And Chris Rodriguez with a 3.86 with two wins on the season. And because it's going to be a doubleheader, I will just address both games right now. Jose Suarez is going to be the pitcher for the Angels. 5-4 in the season with a 3.60 ERA. And Ross Tripling will get another start as a J. 5-6 on the season with a 4.43 ERA for Ross Stripling. These are going to be some good games. These are going to be some fantastic baseball. And I can't wait to see it. I'm actually really excited to see these Blue Jays play against Los Angeles Angels. Because we're at the end of a series, you know what time it is. It is score. Sorry, not score. Standings update time. My apologies. Standings update for the Toronto Blue Jays. And let's see where they're at right now. Oakland A's 
with a 64 and 48 record, 571 percentage. They are tied with the Boston Red Sox for percentages, 0.1 percentage behind is Boston, 65 and 49 after getting the loss yesterday. And because of what happened, the Blue Jays actually became three games behind the Boston Red Sox. The Oakland A's just kind of took the Red Sox spot, so we didn't really make any ground. Quite unfortunately, you know, the Blue Jays had one of the best series in the entire season that I've ever seen this year against the Red Sox, and they didn't really make any ground. So that's okay. We're still in the we're still in the chase. Three games behind the Boston Red Sox, the Yankees with two and a half and the Seattle Mariners, who just got obliterated by the Yankees in a series, are now five and a half back, so that's gonna be a tough one for them. The Angels pretty much out of the race at eight games behind, but they could do some serious damage to the Blue Jays in this next series. The Blue Jays have to keep their spirits high, have to keep their head in the game, and pull three out of four at least against the Los Angeles Angels here in this series. You're not gonna win probably two in the Tuesday games back to back, but there's a good chance you can win the third and fourth game with our starting pitchers in the rotation coming up. So we'll have to see what the Jays do with that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all I'll say for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more videos, and please make sure to turn on your post notifications to get notified when these videos do come out. One more thing, please, please, please make sure to share this video with your friends and family as it helps me out a lot, guys, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.